Good evening, Eduardo. How are you? With all powers, teacher. With all, I'm sorry, what was powers. that? With all powers. Oh, yeah, that's the attitude, with all the powers. Ready for tonight, tonight's class? Excuse me? Are you ready for tonight's class? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. So let's see here. Here in my neighborhood, it's raining. Is it raining in your neighborhood too? No, it's raining. Uh, I no, was raining in the twelve in the three p.m. Oh, okay. 12, on, on twelve on three p.m. Oh, like basically in the afternoon, right? Yes. Teacher, I have a problem. Yes. That my neighbor, neighborhood, or my vecino. My neighbor, mm -hmm. my neighbor. My day, my neighbor, give me the internet, mm -hmm. and I pay, and I pay a uh, a little money, and on the on the final months, mm -hmm. and we, and I have today that the uh, neighbor, I don't know that he could the internet because I haven't internet. Oh, you don't have internet right now. No. I understand. Mm. No worries. All right. So we will figure out to see um how what 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 can we do? Or, or maybe you can tell me if your neighbor neighbor gets in contact with you so they can actually help you with that. Um, Eduardo, do me a favor. Can you hear me properly? Can you hear me well? Can you hear me? Can you hear properly? me? Like my uh, microphone, is my microphone working? Yes. Okay, great, excellent. Okay, no problem, Eduardo. So if you if you actually have to be disconnected because of the internet, just let me know, all right? Okay, uh, I have uh, that was that in uh, in my in my company the cell phone. Ah, okay, great. Okay, so just in case you let me know, all right? Okay. Okay, excellent. Hello, Evelyn. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Right. Hello. So, hey, how was your day? Good. Good. Thanks. Okay, great. Good. Excellent. Is it raining in your neighborhood? What? Is it raining in your neighborhood? Yes. Really? A little. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, here in my neighborhood, it's raining cats and dogs. Do you oh. know the expression? It's like this one. E okay. It is raining cats and dogs. Esa está. All right. That's actually what it means, right? Hello, Reina, how are you? Reina Elizabeth, good evening. So let's see. Oh, I can see you're going to be only a listener. No problem. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay. We are just... Okay, well, everybody else, let's see what happens because nobody else has um, joined the class. All right. One second here. Hmm. All right. Well, so let's see what happens. Sorry that we were just waiting for somebody else to join the class. All right, so we can hear. Hey, Edwin, good evening. Edwin, how are you? 
Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Oh my God, excuse me. All right. So, Daniel, good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right. So, well, let's just start right now. Repeat. It's raining, man. Oh, know? yes. It's raining and I got an allergy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, everybody, we are going to start right now here. Uh, let me know if you can see the screen. Yeah, right? Can you? Okay, can you see the screen? Yes, thank you. Okay, so now we are going to start practicing with this um, exercise, which is from yesterday's topic, right? About the procedures, you know, the process and so on. So we are going to be working on this one right here. And it says, uh, the instruction right here, match the procedures to their descriptions. So what are we going to do right now? It's going to be very simple. All right, so we are going to um, read this and then we're going to read this and try to match them, to put them in the correct order right here, all right? So I have a question for you, ladies and gentlemen. How do you pronounce the first expression? How do you pronounce it, the letter A? It's a difficult word, huh? How would you pronounce it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how is it? The first one, towing food. Towing food, correct. Hello, Guillermo. Towing food. And what is towing food? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. It's, for example, what your mothers tell you. Um, you know, whenever they are leaving and they said, hey, take the chicken out of the refrigerator and put it in a bowl with water. Has your mother ever told you that? Or not? <laughs> All right, so, well, let's see, letter B. Hand washing, repeat everybody, hand washing. Hand washing. Hey, Esther Lee, good evening. Good All evening, right, so, <laughs> let's see. Um, then we have the next one right there, which is this is sanitizing or sanitizing. What do you think it is, it, everybody? I'm thinking of sanitizing. Uh huh. It would be like sanitizing or sanitizing. What is it? Uh huh. Uh huh. Sanitizing. Sanitizing. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Then we have letter D. Food storage, letter E, purchase, and letter F, tasting method. Okay, now, I need your help. Please help me to read um, each of them right here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, so help me to read each of them, all right? And then we are going to be writing here the correct uh, words, all right? So everybody here, what is going to be number one? Number one, number one. Can somebody help me to read this one? Volunteer for reading? Hello, hello? Oh, Wait, come on, number people. One. A ver. Daniel, all right, go ahead. Wash your hands and for her forearms with yeah. soap. Mm -hmm. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails. Dry. Dry. Excellent. So, what is going to be um the word that we which is gonna be one of these words are we going to use there? Which one? Sanitizing. Sanitizing. Yes, it's gonna be like this one. It says like sanitizing. Oops. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's go for the next one. Volunteer for the number two, everybody. Another volunteer for reading only. Reading, reading. 
What is it? Me teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Go ahead. Take a sample of the food you want to taste on a spoon. Mm -hmm. Put the sample on a second spoon away from the cooking area. Area, area, and taste the product. Thank you very much. So, which one is that one? Uh, a, B, a, D, E, or F? Letter, letter F. Letter F, the tasting method. All right, so that is correct. So, let's see here. The tasting method. All right, thank you. Who can help me to read the number three? Number three, number three, please. Yeah, buy package full only from licensed suppliers. Licensed suppliers, all right, excellent. So what is it? Uh, letter E. Letter E, exactly, purchase, very good, all right. Purchase. All right, excellent. So who can help me to read later? I mean, number four, number four here. Come on, everybody, help me read him. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of people here. Andre, Carlos, Daniel, David, um, Eduardo, Edwin. Who's going to help me? Me, teacher. Thank you, Noe. Go ahead. Uh, to let the frozen food become warmer, util, it is ready to cook. Ready to cook, exactly. What is that one? Towing, towing. Towing food, yay. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So you take the food out of the refrigerator, all right? So thank you. Okay, so who can help me to read the number five? The number five, number five. Mm -hmm. What is it? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, everybody. Me, teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Employees who receive in storage food organized items items in the corner place to avoid, avoid bacteria. Bacteria, all right, excellent. So which one yeah. is that one, my friend? It's hand washing. Uh -uh, because we already have this one right here. We already have tasting method, purchase, sanitizing, um, and thawing food, all right, excellent. So, uh-huh is hand washing. Hand washing? Is letter D? Is no, letter uh, for the storage. For the storage, Sorry. okay. Hmm. Okay, excellent. So the last one then should be hand washing. Do you think that's okay? Can somebody help me to read this one, please? Equipment is washing, swatched, priced, and disinfected after each dish is prepared. Okay, excellent. Equipment is washed, rinsed, and disinfected after each dish is prepared. So is that hand washing, my friends? Yes or no? No, it's sure. Huh? Hello, hello? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. so you're saying that is correct, right? Okay, what if I tell you? Teacher, that... for, for huh? me, the last one is sanitizing. Yeah, that's correct. That's what I was about to tell you, right? So this one is not correct one and this one here. Why? Because in this one, 
it says here your hands so this is gonna be hand washing right so that's the reason why mm -hmm. and in this one you go on it says right here sanitizing There you go. So now everything is correct. Exactly. All right. Thank you very much. Remember, this is just part of the review of the topic that we were uh, studying last night about the process, right? Or the procedures that we were following at the restaurant. Okay. Hey, guys, do you have any question? Uh, any questions? I'm sorry about vocabulary. Anything that you don't recognize there so I can help you with the vocabulary right now. Questions, questions, no questions? No question, teacher. Okay, great, no problem. So now let's just move forward to the topic for today. Okay, so we have two topics and we have a lot of information to cover. So let's just move forward quickly here. Okay, so the first part of the class, it's about um, cool versus might. It's just a review. We studied this a couple of days ago, so now we're going to have another review, and so we're going to check more usages, like differences or similar things that those two model verbs have, all right? So, let's see. The first one right here, it says this one. What is the main difference? Oh, okay, so let me try to fix that one. One quick second here, all right? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry. I can definitely fix it now. All right, so let's see. Okay, it's fixed. So what's the main difference? All right, so it says right here that the, the main difference between cool and mind is that mind is slightly politer than cool and is mainly used in formal context. So at the end, they both are, um, you know, similar in the usage, right? So, but they are saying here that um, mind is slightly politer, all right? So, what is slightly politer? You guys understand that word? Slightly? Hello, can you hear me? I don't know. Es como ligeramente. Eh, exactly, right? So ligeramente o un poquito más, eh, un poquito más, all right? Eh, más formal, as you can see it here, politely. All right, so, eh, dan cool, and it's mainly used in formal context. This is important. Take a look. It says, it's mainly used in formal context, right? So, might, it's more common to be used in formal um, conversations or in formal context. All right, so, before I move to the next slide, do you have questions? about any word from this slide? Is it clear the difference between them? <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Anybody else? Um, do you have any questions? Is it clear the difference here? Yes, it's yes, 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 or yes. Yeah. All right, excellent. So please, guys, do me a favor. When I ask you the question, if you understand or if you don't understand, or if it is clear or not, please let me know. So I, you know, I'm aware that you guys uh, understood, or if you want me to repeat, I can also do it for you. But tell me, please. All right. So let's just continue. And now, let's see here. 
So we have this one right here, the mother bird cool. So we are going to study them individually, right? So we are going to start with cool first, right? Uh, I need a volunteer, please. A volunteer who can help me to read this paragraph here, all right? So who can help me to read? Volunteers, volunteers? Me, teacher. Thank you, Evelyn. Please go ahead. Cool is a well-known model verb. Mm -hmm. It helps use uh, the information to the main verb. Mm -hmm. It helps you uh, ask the talk about abilities, give us for permissions, offer things, etc. Etc. It's in English is like etc. 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 Okay. Could mm -hmm. is the past tense of can have a look. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate it, right? So it says right here that a cold here, it's well known. All right. So what is well known, people? Hello, what is well known? Bien, Bien conocido. conocido. Bien conocido, all right? So, o muy conocido o conocido por. All right, so, um, as, as un conocido, un reconocido, a model verb, right? That help us to add information to the main verb. He help us to talk about abilities, all right? Give, ask for permission, offer things, etc. right? And it's also the past of the a model verb can. So, like for example, here it says, I could lift up. What is this phrasal verb? Lift up. Do you know it? Levantar. Levantar. Levantar exactly, right? So that's right. Lift up. Hmm. All right, to 100 kilograms in my glory days. Oh my goodness, my glory days. That's an expression that we use also in Spanish. What is my glory days, my friends? Mi día de gloria. Yes, all right. Mis días de gloria. All right, excellent. So then you continue with this one. Uh, and how, 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 how are you going to, uh, or for example, how can you translate this sentence into Spanish? Yo podía levantar hasta 100 kilogramos en mis días de gloria. All right. Exactly. 100 kilogramos en mis días de gloria. Very good. So, in this case right here, the word cool, it's going to be podría, right? So, that's actually correct. Podría, podría. All right. So, and here we have some examples about the past. All right. What it says right here. Could you see, I'm sorry, could you sign my book? Repeat it. Could you sign my book? Repeat it. Could you sign my book? Could you sign my book? All right. So mm -hmm. like that one. This one right here, which is could you sign my book? It's actually when you are requesting something. Okay. So when you are requesting something here, eh, that's actually like this one. So entonces sería... And talking about past abilities, it's going to be this one right here. And talking about request something, it's just like this here. All right. So I have a question for you right now. And tell me, how can you translate this one into Spanish? Podrías firmar mi libro. Podrías firmar mi libro, which means like you are requesting for something. Es decir, alguien está... Eh, Haciendo una petición, una solicitud, right? So, very good. Eh, questions about these two usages, all right? De estos dos usos, preguntas, questions, vocabulary. No, okay. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, all right? Let's see this one right here. Now, let's talk about the mother bird might, all right? So, it says, I need another volunteer, my friends, please. Another volunteer who can help me with this paragraph. Who's my volunteer?
Hello, hello. Me, teacher. Thank you, my friend. Go ahead. Miguel, right? Yes. Thank you. Might is also uh, a modal verb. It is used to talk about possibilities, give advice, and ask for permission. Might is the past tense of may, for instance. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So, everybody, what is the meaning of for instance? For example. Thank you very much. For instance, for example. For example. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There you go. So now it says right here, this one is talking about a possibility, you know, talking about a possibility. So it's this expression that we have right here. So for example, he says, he is crying. Repeat everybody, he is crying. He is he crying. Is he crying. might be hungry. Repeat it. He might be hungry. So perhaps we're talking about a baby, all right? So, and when the baby is hungry, we said, like, maybe he's crying because he's hungry, right? So it says here, he is crying. He might be hungry, all right? So um, how would you translate he might be hungry in this context? Hmm? Hello? Hello? Hey. Es posible que tenga hambre. Es posible que tenga hambre. Mm. Okay, no bad, but I, I will use a different one. I will use definitely a different one. Ajá. Uh -huh. Any el any other estar, option? El podría estar hambriento. Sea. El podría estar hambriento. Escucha a alguien más ahí. Somebody else said something. Podría ser que tenga hambre. Podría ser que tenga, me suena una estructura a little bit more complicated, all right? So remember, sí. it's only, for example, he might be hungry. All right, so which is just like, you're talking about a possibility, right? Which uh, I don't know if you guys mentioned this one. I mean, I don't remember, that's what I'm trying to say. But, you know, the translation will be like, puede que. You know, puede que. Do you remember? Hi, my friends. We checked this one like two days ago. Well, on Friday, I guess. All right. So remember cuando hablábamos de puede que quieras agregar esto al menú. Remember that? Yes. Mm. <laughs> All right. Excellent. So, well, that's actually how you say it. All right. So, um, how do you say in English? Puede que él te ayude. How do you say puede que él te ayude? He might to help. He might to help. Mm -mm. Puede que él te ayude. Ah, uh -huh. he might be. He might be to help. Ese es el Google Translator. <laughs> All right, so. Let's see, following this example right here, it will be, he might help you. All right, so like that one, he might help you, okay? Repeat it, he might help you. He might help you. He might help you. He might help you. Exactly, right? Which in this case, it can also mean, él podría ayudarte, right? So about a possibility too. Eh, podría estar ambiente, también puede ser otra traducción correcta, very good. And then the next one, so we are asking for permission. That's another usage, right? So which is this one we have right here. So it goes like, might I ask you, a, sorry, might I ask a question? Repeat everybody. Might I ask a question? Thank you very much. All right. May I ask a question? All right. Excellent. So you know what? This is actually how you use it, right? But sometimes it's more common, um, you know, to have this one right here. So you will see. We eliminate here mind. Let me just change this one for a white. Excuse me. 
All right, so we can see this one and we can add this one. May. That's the one you were like saying there. All right, so may, 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 may. Which it means exactly the same. May I ask you a question? Podría hacerte una pregunta. Este no es de los modal verbs que estamos viendo ahorita, right? Pero es el que más se utiliza para hacer preguntas de manera educada o formal, right? May I ask a question like that? Very good. Ahora, la forma que aparece aquí, eh, which is this one right here, might I ask a question? También es grammatically correct. No es tan común de usar, pero it's actually correct as well. Questions? No, teacher. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. There you go on this one. And let's continue. Okay, um, now let's see. What are like the um, similarities they have? All right, so for the past tense, might and cool are past tense of mother verbs may and can respectively. So for example, I may call her, all right? So this is what I was trying to tell you before. Take a look. This one, it will be like, I may call her, all right? Oops, I just, let me change the color. Okay, I may call her here. So if you have that sentence right there, I may call her. So you're talking about something about a possibility, right? So when you said like this one, so again, you're saying, I may call her. Which you're saying like, yo puedo llamarla, yo podría llamarla, right? So let's see here. Then you go on this one. What's the past? The past, the one we have right here, it will be, I might have called her. Which means, podría haberla llamado. Ya estamos hablando de un past, all right? So yo puedo llamarla. Or I might have called her, right? Yo podría haberla llamado, all right? So that's a different usage of cómo se utiliza might en pasado, all right? So, eh, ¿estamos hasta aquí, people? Yes or yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So remember that if you have questions or if anything is not clear, just let me know and then I can repeat it, no problem. Okay, so let's see here. It says this one right here, I can help her, which means in Spanish, yo puedo ayudarla, right? And this is going to be in past as well, which means right here, yo. Yo que. Podría. Podría ayudarla. Ajá, uh -huh. now like this one, podría ayudarla, or like, eh, pero como estamos hablando de simple past. Podría. Sería yo. Pude ayudarla. Pude. Ojo, y aquí quiero hacer esta eh, aclaración. So, I want to clarify this one and I might use Spanish to have it clear. Por ejemplo, ustedes me dijeron, hey, teacher, usted puede decir, yo podría ayudarla. Es correcto. Es correcto, es correcto. Aunque la misma oración también significa, yo pude ayudarla. All right. So, ¿y cómo voy a saber cuando estoy hablando de una o de la otra? El contexto. Of course. All right. So, like, for example, eh, si alguien me pregunta, hey, who can help, for example, right? Who can help Mary with the homework? Alguien me levanta la mano y me dice, I could help her, so yo podría ayudarla. Eso sería una possibility, right? Pero eh, si estamos hablando de una situación en pasado y te digo, hey, do you remember Maria? Yes, I remember I could help her. Yo recuerdo que pude ayudarla, for example. So, understand? Yes, it's clear, teacher. Okay, great, excellent. And then now that we talk about possibilities, so we have another thing here to say. Cool and mind are used to talk about possibilities, right? While both model verbs are considered to be a past tense, however, they are used to talk about the present and the future possibilities. Might only refers to present and future, but cool refers to past, present, and the future. All right, so eh, it's what I was telling you before, right? So que cool puede referirse para pasado, para presente o para futuro, depending on the context you're saying, right? So, for example, when you have the sentence there, she might be on her way. That is just like, puede que esté en camino, right? So, remember, usamos el like, might be, so puede que ella esté en camino. Or, if you say, for example, the next one, she could be on her way. That would be, podría estar de camino. 
It's the same thing here. So in this one, it's very similar. So aquí se usan del mismo contexto, my or could. In this case, when you talk about possibilities, significa lo mismo. All right. ¿Estamos también clear en esto, people? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. All right. So let's see here. All right. Uh, talking about this one, formality. All right. So I was telling you before that my it's considered to be more formal than cool. We mainly use my to sound politer. All right. So I could be helpful. I might be helpful. Ahora vamos a clarify here. El más formal, pero el más común. This one. El más común, the most common one. Understand? Hello? Yes. All right, excellent. So let's see this one. And uh, let's just continue here right now. And now we have an exercise right here, so we can actually use this one. Okay, uh, let's see. Sonia, can you help me to read the instruction, please? Okay. Complete the sentences using cool or my. Compare your answer why a uh, cl classmate. Classmate. Okay, let me help you with some uh, details about pronunciation here. So first of all, compare. Repeat it. Compare. Very good. Answers. Answer. Uh-huh. With. With. Classmate. Classmate. So this will be compare your answers with a classmate. Please repeat it. Compare your answer. Why? With. With, perdón. <laughs> classmate. With a classmate. All right. So like this one. Okay. Answers. All right. So in this one right here, my friends, eh, please don't confuse this one. So we don't pronounce the W. Hacemos caso a mí sobre la W. Sería answer. Como an answer. Answer. Exactly. Para que no suene como answer, right? Sino que es like answer only. All right. So mm -hmm. great. Let's just continue right now here. And let's see. The first one right here, it says, we could drive a car covering propaganda around the city. So, which it means it was a possibility, right? We could drive a car cover in propaganda around the city. That's the first one. It's already done. What about the number two? It says, the bus won to star the event with a speech. Which one will you use here? Cool or might? Everybody else? Might. Might. Might want to. Puede que quiera. Right? Yes or no, people? So let's see. It's going to be like might. Might want to start the event with a speech. Number three. Who can help me with number three, please? Cool. Cool. The sales team, cool. Continue, please. Uh huh. Could try to bundle, bundle up the four ways collectible mugs. Collectively mugs. All right. Let's see if you remember this one because we did this exercise last time, people. All right. So, what is bundle up, people? What is bundle up? Agrupar. Agrupar, all right. And what is a collective collectible mock? Como coleccionable. Uh -huh. Un coleccionable. Una taza coleccionable, all right. Very good. Awesome. So let's see here. All right. Uh, who can help me with number four? Number four, number four. The, man the manager uh, might like to load a new line of Kai Mills. Aha, uh -huh. might like. Puede que le guste, right? Might like. All right. Excellent. Number five. Hi. The event 
Cool. All right. Could be scheduled for Christmas to increase sales. Very good. And the last one, ladies and gentlemen, what is it? Might. Might. Very good. Excellent. So the store might want to use a loyalty offering. All right. Excellent. So you guys did it correctly. All right. So, well, let me tell you, this exercise is exactly the same we did on Friday. So thank you for remembering the answers. All right. So that's actually good. Okay. Questions about the usage of cool and mind people? Yes or no? No questions? No questions. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Okay, so let's see here. Now then, we are going to move to a different activity. Something that, you know, it's going to help you a little bit here. Because, oh my goodness, people, tonight you are very, very shy. I'm surprised. What happens? It's the rain, probably. Okay, so let's see here. Here it is. One second. Okay, so new sure. There you go. Excellent. Let me know if you can see the new screen. We're, ah, there you go. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So do you see the new screen, people? Yes. Sir. Yes. There is a tongue twister, and we are going to practice a tongue twister right now. So we can wake up right now, everybody, so we can practice our pronunciation in uh, um, fluency as well, right? So, of course, let me repeat it for you first, and then you are going to practice, right? So it says, how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Ah, easy, right? Okay. Oh, Miguel, what was that? Miguel was like, oh, my God. <laughs> All, right. All right. So you want to be the first one, Miguel? Yes. No okay. Let's try. Okay. How much would could a uh, wood chalk chalk if a wood chalk could chalk wood? Okay. Excellent. Hey, a challenge a little bit faster. Me? Yeah. Okay. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Excellent. Like that one. Thank you. All right. Now you, Miguel, are going to pick the next volunteer. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Ursula. Ursula. Hello, Ursula. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So go ahead, okay. my friend. How much wood could a wood chop chop if a wood chop could chop wood? Hey, that was nice. That was nice. That was <laughs> nice. All right. So thank you. Now you, Ursula, please choose the next one. Come on. Next one. Next one. Next one. Um, Daniel, remember it. Okay, my Daniel. friend. How much? How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck would chuck wood? Uh, okay, one more time, faster. One more time, okay. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So now let's see. Uh, let's continue with the next one. Anybody else? Oh, um. Please select the next person. Go ahead. No, Gustavo. Gustavo, you said? Hi, teacher. All right. So go ahead. What, what much uh, good could a uh, good chuck chuck if a uh, good chuck could chuck wood? Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Awesome. So now let's continue with the next one. Who's the next one, my friend? Tell me. Uh, Eduardo Flores. Ha <laughs> Eduardo. Hello. Hello. 
Tell me, please. How ahead. much? How much would could I would shoot shoot if I would shoot could shoot would? All right, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, so that was actually good, good, good. The next one, the next one. Andre Pardo. Excellent, Mr. Pardo, are you there? Mm -hmm. So I feel like a medium right now, Mr. Pardo, are you there? Please say hi. I guess we will have to choose another person. Sonia Esmeralda. Sonia. Okay. Go ahead. How much? How much would call a uh, would chuck chuck if would chuck call chuck would? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Challenge a little bit faster. 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 Otra vez. Yes, please. Faster. Okay. How much would call a uh, would chuck Chuck if what chuck call chuck wood. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, my friend. That was better. The next person, you know, someone who hasn't participated, so everybody can wake up right now. Uh huh. Uh, Edwin is Okay, Edwin. Good evening, Edwin. Hi. Uh huh. Surprise. Tell me. Go ahead. Yeah. How much will call a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck called chuck wood? Okay, very good. The next person, the next person. Come on, quickly, quickly. David. David, 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 David. Are you there, David? Yeah. Mr. Custodio, all right. Continue. Hello, hello. Oh, we lost Mr. Custodio. Mm -mm. All right. So who else? Who else? I see Mr. Luna also. Eh, Reina. Let's see. Maritza. Catherine. Uh -huh. Any volunteer? Uh, I, my friend. Yeah, All right. Henry. Henry Giovanni. And then. Evelyn, okay? Okay. Okay, Henry, you go first. Okay. How much would could I would chuck chuck if I would chuck could chuck good? Oh my god, one more time. Remember, how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? One more time, Henry. Repeat it. Okay. <laughs> How much good could I will chop chop if I will chop could chop good? Amazing, very good, excellent. So now the next lady, thank you. Okay, how much good could I will chop chop if I will chop good chop good? Awesome, very good, very good. All right, so let's see this one. All right, um, let's see. Okay, yeah, everybody, let's like change this one, right? Yeah, we'll finish. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, so we can go back to the previous activity here. And we are going to uh, talk about this one. All right, everybody here, I have a question for you. What is a promotional strategy? Do you know that? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. What is the question, teacher? What is a promotional strategy? The question you can see on, on the screen now. What is a promotional strategy? Uh... Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Any idea? Is a temporal offer. 
a temporal offer. Okay, that's an idea. Any other idea? It's a personal gift with a more recurrent clients. Okay, that sounds good. All right. So, any other idea? Hello, hello. Okay, no problem. So we are going to talk about this topic right now, all right? So people, let's see. First of all, we need to understand what is a promotion or what is promotion? Who can help me to read this, please? Any volunteer? Read. Yeah, reading. Promotion. Promotion is the act of getting potential customer familiar with your product it's one of the core practices of marketing. Okay, remember, uh, Daniel, practices. Practices. Practices of marketing. All right, so very good. Uh, let's say this one. Uh, let's just go on this one. Yeah. All right, so let's see this one. Uh, you go on this one right there, and it's like a promotion. It's like the ad of getting potential customers, you said, right? So... With a promotion, we attract more customers, right, to our company. That's basically what it says right here. Thank you. Uh, questions about vocabulary here? No questions? No, no? all right, awesome. So then, what is a promotion strategy? Any other volunteer for help me reading, everybody? Good. Mm. Mr. Luna, go ahead, please. Promotion strategy. A promotion strategy is a plan and tactics surrounding a product, a product promotion. It consists of the goals behind your promotion and the steps you'll take to promote your product with the most advantages possible. Yes, correct, excellent. Thank you very much, by the way. Good job reading this one, right? So as you can see here, a promotion strategy it's a plan, right? So it's a plan or like, you know, the steps you're going to take to promote your product and to take advantage of, you know, the product as much as possible, right? We were talking about this last night, remember? Like, how would you uh, offer this to a different customer, right? So uh, we were talking about la like this one. So like offering new, I mean, free samples, right? Offering, um you know, anything else, right, that you can offer there. Uh, let's see this one. Questions about vocabulary? No questions? No questions. No questions. All right, excellent. So now let's see. Um, I need someone who can help me to read uh, this one, but not the whole thing. So you help me reading from here to here, and then the next person helps me with those two. So I need two volunteers. Who is going to be my first volunteer? Miguel. Who said that? Miguel. All right. Go ahead, my friend, please. Go ahead. What the purpose of a promotional strategy? A promotion, a promotion strategy has four purposes. Raising awareness, the activities and channels involved in a promotion strategy inform people about your product. Bringing into general awareness and encouraging interest, a promotion, a promotion strategy also looks for optimal ways to get people interested in your product by presenting its extra strength, 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 yes, and add over the competitions. All right, excellent, all right. Uh, thank you very much, that was actually good. From this part that he was reading, uh, do you have any questions regarding vocabulary? Yes, encouraging. Como es? Encouraging. 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 Like, encourage, encourage, encouraging. What's like raising awareness? I forgot. I, I lost it, bro. Where is it? In racing activity. Oh, encouraging. Interesting. Oh, my goodness. 
All right, so encourage and interesting. So it's like, como like um, encourage, which is like the base, the base verb right here. It's about like motivate, you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. Like motivate. So when you said like encourage, you're talking about, um, how can I say this one? Let me just like look for another one here into um, this one, which is going to be like, yeah, like motivate, alentar, motivar, animar, estimular, stimulate, all right, customers to buy your products, all right? So thank you. What about the next one right here, which is going to be the generating demand and persuading people to take actions? Who can help me with that one? Me, teacher. All right. That was Edwin, right? Yes. Can you generating. please tell me? Go ahead. Okay. Generating demand. Demand generation. Making people care about and want your product is another core goal of a promotion. Persuading people uh -huh. to take action out of the other goals of promotion strategy led to its ultimate goal. Encouraging people to become customer of subscribers. All right. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You did a good job. A questions about vocabulary here? No questions? Okay, no problem. So let's just talk about this one. The first one, the purpose is raising awareness, right? What is raising awareness? It's just like to let the customers know that you have this product, right? So for example, when, um, let's say, talking about restaurants, right? So you know that, did you know that Pizza Hut is now selling wings? You know what is wings? Yeah. Alitas, yes. All right. So, uh, do you know that Pizza Hut is now promoting that? So you can call Pizza Hut, and you wanna, or if you wanna order only wings, they can sell you wings. Did you know that? All right. This is just like, for example, the the like raising awareness, right? Como like incrementar um, el conocimiento, like you know. De que las, a las personas de que you are actually having a new product, right? So to let everybody know that you have that product. So that's actually the closest meaning to a uh, rising awareness, right? So like that. Uh, is it clear when it says a uh, rising awareness? Hmm? Remember, rising, rising, rising awareness. Is it clear, people? Rising awareness. Is it clear? You know, remember that the word awareness is como la conciencia, right? So, entonces, como like el aumento de la conciencia sería, right, el incremento o de concientizar a los customers que ahora tú tienes un product nuevo, all right? So, por eso les ponía el ejemplo de las alitas, de los wings, all right? So, when you say like Pizza Hut, you don't think about wings. You, you think about pizza. All right, so but now Pizza Hut is telling you, hey, you know what? I have also wins, so you can buy wins here. All right, and then encouraging interest to motivate the customers to buy the product, right? So why would you buy, for example, wins at Pizza Hut if we have Buffalo wings? Ah, because we have better promotions, because it's cheaper, because you can have more options here, etc. right? Then generating demand. Obviously, when you promote a product, right, usted genera demanda, right? So it means that you increase the amount of customers, the amount of orders, right, etc., right? And persuading people to take action, which it means just like, um, you know, like to convince, persuade, right? To convince the people to take the action, which in this case, taking the action will be to buy the product, right? To buy, to buy the product, all right? So, you know, the best example of persuading people, it's just those TV ads or those ads on television that they sell different products and they ask some questions to pursue you, right? Like, for example, they want to sell something and they said, like, are you tired of preparing the food and you don't have time, blah, 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 all right? And they say, like, oh, yeah, that happens to me. And then 
they try to convince you to buy the product, right? So, everybody, questions at the moment? Yo tengo una duda, teacher, con la palabra esta. Eh... No. Which one? What word is the one you have questions with? Channels. Oh, channels. Channels, you mean? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significa? Canales. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other word? Vocabulary? Uh, sure, and the second paragraph, uh, by presenting it the strength. Oh, strength. This one right strength here. And, and age over. All right. And age over. Well, actually, uh, H is going to be like this one. All right. So strength, it's easy. Strength means um, fortalezas, you know? You got it? Yes, teacher. All right. Excellent. So, and then um, H has different meanings. Could be el borde, la orilla, el filo, las afueras, el margen, etc. Right? But in this case, uh, the best one would be for H, el margen. Right? So, like this one. Sales and promotion trade also looks for optimal ways to get people interested in your product by presenting sus fortalezas y um, como like the top or the best thing here. All right? So, sobre lo de la competition. All right? So, questions? Presenting its strength and age over the competition. That's the way. Presenting okay. its strength and age over the competition. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, in this case, H, uh, just for like, you know, simple words, ventaja, my friend. Okay. Good, good, good. Excellent. So, let's continue right now with the next one. Okay, now we have this one right here. Why is promotion a strategy important? Why, 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 why? All right, so, well, for this one, I need two volunteers again for the first paragraph, right? And for the second paragraph right here. So who's going to be my volunteer for the first paragraph? Let me hear you. Thank you, Daniel. Why is, why is promotion a strategy important? Promoting with that strategy is essential because promoting in the right right away to the right people, optimizing your time and resources, you'll have a higher chance of tur turning the money you spend on promotion into purchase, awareness of your product and hype around it. All right, excellent. So it says like that the promoting with the strategy is essential because it says right here, um, when you do it in the correct way, you optimize your time and resources. You will have a higher chance of turning the money you spend on promotion into purchases. So invertir en promoción para convertirlo en compras. All right, so like that. Very good, excellent. I have a question for you. What is the meaning of Hype around it. Hype around it. Mm -hmm. um, it's like the expectations. I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, expectations. Uh, okay, it's like the expectation. Mm -hmm. All right, you know, like this one, hype, it's just un bombo publicitario, all right? So, which it means like, uh, let me just give you the context right here, all right? So, it says here, tendrás un chance más alto eh, de convertir el dinero que gastaste en promoción en compras, en conciencia de tu producto, es decir, la gente va a estar más consciente de tu producto y el boom publicitario alrededor de él. Esto, hype, 
It means un boom publicita bombo publicitario, como una promotion, right? So let's say, for example, um, let me see, let me see. Um, I'm thinking about an ad right now, so everybody can, um, you know, I'm thinking about like a recent commercial because I'm thinking about the old ones when I was a kid. All right, so, but let's see. Can you like remember any commercial that is very popular? Black Friday. Black Friday? No, like, yeah, that's a promotional. Yes, of course, but a commercial uh, that is popular. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right. So, people, si yo te escribo esta frase, esta phrase, ¿qué se te viene a la mente? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo continúa la frase? How do you continue with the phrase? In Spanish, of course. Pica rico. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. That is exactly what this means by the hype. All right. So, el bombo publicitario. So, you're like, recognize this one automatically just by having a a phrase, a catchy phrase, or a, an iconic phrase like the one we just uh, test here, right? Thank you. Is it clear? Yes. 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 Okay. Cool. Excellent. Uh, who's my volunteer for the second paragraph? Me, teacher. Okay. So let's see here. Go ahead, my friend. Plus de knowledge. Okay. Yep, continue. Plus the knowledge you gain when crafting a promotion strategy will serve you well when handling the other PS in the marketing mix. You'll have a better grasp of your audience that you can use for better marketing overall. Overall, very good, excellent. So, you know, the knowledge you gain when crafting a promotion strategy will serve you when handling the other PS in marketing mix. You will have better graphs in your audience that you can use for better marketing overall, all right? So, which basically this is telling you, it's like, um, you know, if you actually have a promotion strategy, uh, here, you are going to actually incre increase other marketing areas in the company, right? So let's see here. So let's see this one right here. Okay, excellent. So questions here? No questions? Okay, cool. Let's see this one right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So I need, again, two volunteers. One volunteer who can help me with this part and another volunteer who can help me with this part. Yes, teacher. Okay, Daniel, go with number one. What are the, the five tips for promotion strategies? Mm -hmm. You can organize promotion strategies in the five main categories depending on, on your products. You can mix and match the tactics from different strategies strategies tips types all right types okay excellent thank you thank you my friend uh who's my volunteer for the next one mm -hmm. all right so what is it okay uh Full promotion strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, as HREF explained, full and push marketing are two strategies with complementary tactics. Mm -hmm. Full promotion fo focuses on pulling customers your way with tactics uh, that allow them to discover your product. Some examples of full marketing tactics include 
content marketing and social media marketing. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, so that was a good job. So now, uh, can someone tell me if you have questions about that? Uh, what is a uh, uh, rep? It's a name. It's like a guy who you know is famous in publicity. A, a mm -hmm. guy. A no, guy. A, a, a a person. Oh, it's a person. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. Anything else? Any other question? What's the question? No, no questions? No question. Okay. Okay, okay, no more. Um, are you sure you understood everything, people? Because if you don't have questions for me right now, I have a couple of questions for you after we finish reading these paragraphs. Are you sure you don't have questions? Sure? Sure. Yes? Esta palabra tiene o no tiene traducción porque estoy leyendo lo adelante. Esta pull, promotion. Porque adelante dice of pool marketing. No, like the word pool, yes, of course. Yeah, the word that um, Mr. Luna will I was asking before, it was the word in red. Adref, right? But pool, yes, pool has a translation. And this is just like, you know, um, alar, arrastrar, you know. It has different meanings. But this case will be just like como el... Eh, will be like el arrastre de la, promo, de la estrategia de promoción. All right? That's actually how you translate it. Is that clear? Questions, questions? Hello, hello? No, teacher. It's clear. Okay. Okay, let me just continue here. All right. Let's see what happens with the computer here. Okay, okay. One second, I don't know what happens. Okay, so let's see. Excuse me, guys, I'm just having technical difficulties here. All right. Thank you for waiting. So now we can see this one. Well, again, I will need two more volunteers so they can read number uh, two and number three. Who's my volunteer? Yes? Read number two. Read number three, teacher. Okay, number two and number three. Okay, number two right now. Push promotion strategy. Strategy. Push promotion pushes your product to your customers. It involves tactics that put your product in front of your customer such as uh, advertising of good code, 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 enabling. All right. Code is good, code. Like that one. All right, thank you very much, my friend. All right, called emailing, all right? So let me just like this one, push, uh, push sorry, promotion strategy. All right, so which goes this one, the promotion is, uh, the push promotion pushes your product to your customers. Es decir, este empuja. 
All right, so it involves tactics that you put product in front of your customers, such as advertising or call emailing. Call emailing, it is actually uh, when you go on saying like, um, what we normally receive as a spam. You know, we receive constantly promotions from different companies in our emails, and that's actually called emailing, all right? So thank you, my friend. Who's number three here? Number three, number three? Me, teacher. All right, go ahead, Henry. Please read it. Sales promotion strategy. Sales promotion strategies involve offering incentives to encourage customer to buy your product. There are two types of sales promotion tactic inbound methods that draw customer in such as a free shipping deal and order over a specific cost. Outbound method that require you to reach out to customer like offering coupons towards the mail. All right, excellent. Thank you very much for that one, good job. The sales promotion is triety, right? So we have inbound and outbound. Inbound methods that draw customers in, such as free shipping deal or orders over specific cost, all right? So it's the inbound, it's actually the type of promotion that as a consumer llame, contacte, all right? So that's what it's trying to tell you, right? So for example, publicity on Facebook, right? So you see a promotion on Facebook and you're in a, automatically call the restaurant because you wanna order what you saw on Facebook. And outbound methods that require you to reach out to the customers like offering coupons through the mail. Aquí aparece, por ejemplo, un cupón a través del correo, muy, muy popular con pedidos ya, for example, that they constantly offer uh, discounts or coupons uh, so you can use their service. Or as well, um, well, in El Salvador, I don't, know, I don't know if it is common, but you tell me, sometimes we receive some calls from the telephone companies offering you products, right? Especially when you already have a plan. So, okay, cool, excellent. So everybody, question here? No questions about vocabulary? Yes or no? No questions, five, it's okay. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Let's see if it is true. Okay, so one more time. All right, so paragraph number four and number five. I need two more volunteers for those paragraphs right here. All right, who's my volunteer? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank, you, Thank you, Stelie. Go with number, number four, right? Retail promotion strategy. Mm -hmm. Due to the physical nature of their businesses, retail stores have unique challenges and strengths compared to other businesses, business types. They can face advantage of their position with retail specific promotion strategy involving tactics like in a person loyalty programs and it's already shipped up from the time. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. All right, all right, all right. So that's correct. So now tell me, uh, that was correct. Thank you very much for that one. And you did a good job. Now, number five, who's helping me with number five? Number five, number five. E-commerce promotion strategy. Okay. Um, on the tip side, the commerce store have a special place place in mm -hmm. the business world because of their their uh, virtual nature. Uh, mm -hmm. The companies use uh, e-commerce promotion strategies that lend on um, the digital uh, tactics like uh, e-commerce specific 
CEO. CEO. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So what this is basically telling you guys right here, it's the following. All right. So it says like, for example, in retail promotion strategy, it's just like, you know, uh, retail stores have unique challenges and strength compared to other business. Guess who not retail? Retail store. Do you know what is a retail store? This one right here? Yes or no? Oh, it doesn't show here. Okay. Retail stores. You know what is it? Un revendedor o una tienda al por menor, right? So, uh, you know, it's difficult for them to like have a, a promotion strategy, right? So, but we can actually do it like, you know, uh, to promote some products as well, all right? And I guess like talking about companies here in El Salvador, uh, la mayoría de like the companies who work with these promotions, all right? Thank you, David. Um, or like, for example, uh, about, um, what is this one? Cleaning products, all right? So like, for example, it's very popular in our country, my friends, and you might be familiar with that. When you have like Lejia Maxi Sol, they are around the country having festivals and things like that, promoting that and working with local stores in their places where they go and visit, right? Just to give you an example about what is this. And then e-commerce promotion strategy, which is, you know, e-commerce internet, basically. All right. So that's actually what it is. Questions. One more time. Questions. One more time. Questions. No questions. Maybe the headsets are not working. No, teacher. Not at the moment, no, teacher. Not at the moment. Okay, cool. All right. I don't know. I don't know if, if later I will uh, a question, but the moment, no. <laughs> okay. You know what? I knew you were going to tell me that you don't have questions. So now what I'm going to do is the following. Since you don't have questions for me, I have questions for you. But no one question, no two questions, no five questions, no 10 questions, no 15 questions. I have 20 questions for you. Is that okay? Welcome. Excellent. Thank you. That's the attitude. All right. So, yes, take a look. 2020 20, 20 questions. All right. So, the questions are going to be here uh, based on the information that we have been reading, only about the um, promotion strategy. Okay. No about cool and all those things, just about the promotion strategy. And not very simple questions. So, for example, take a look to question number one right here. It says, what is promotion and why is it important in marketing? So, como han estado tomando apuntes, right? So, you can perfectly come here and say like, ah, yes, promotion. Aquí está, eh? promotion, promotion, da, 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 da. Question number one. Ah, that's it, right? Understand? Yes or no? You have not take a picture. Ah, oh my God, why not? Aha, All right, so let's say this one. I'm going to go back to the previous slides so you can take screenshots of every um, slide and then I, I can, you can go to the breakout rooms to practice, all right? Okay, this is the first one. If someone can share this in the group, I will truly appreciate it, okay?
Hello, guys. I'm sorry. I lost connection. All right. So can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you see me in the camera as well? Mm, here, see. But solo vemos el logo de inglés corporativo. Wow. I will see what happens here in a moment. Okay. Uh, did you take the screenshot from the, the previous slide? Promotion? Tomaron una captura. The WhatsApp. Ajá, tomaron una captura de esta. Can I continue with the next one? Yes. Yes. Okay. Next one. Please let me know. Me avisan. Yes. Okay. Next. Yes. Next. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes. All right. Next. And yes. And finally. There you go. Excellent. Okay. So now, yeah, I know it looks like, oh my God, it's a lot of questions, right? So what are we going to do? Remember, we're going to be working in groups so you can divide the questions and you can start discussing what the possible answers are. All right. So, and for that, we're going to be working in the breakout rooms here. Okay, so let's see how many participants we can get like uh, eight, six. Okay, very good, excellent. One second, please. I'm creating the breakout rooms right now. Okay, let's see. Okay, very good. Okay, the invitation has been sent. Please join the room and start working on answering those questions, my friends. Please. Um, Andre, are you there? Carlos, Catherine. Okay. Anybody alone? That's fine. Let's see room number three. Hello. Hello, hello, DJ. All right, excellent. So, questions about the activity? Uh, no, DJ. No, okay, very good. Uh, easy, people. Remember, que no son respuestas, like there are no answers like too long. Son respuestas bien puntuales, right? Así que it's not going to take a long time. If you okay. have questions, okay. just call me. I will be back, all right? Okay, DJ. All right.
हेलो 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 ओ माय गॉडनेस आई आई थॉट इट वाज माय कनेक्शन बट नोबडी इज स्पीकिंग हियर व्हाट हैपेंस आई डोंट नो आर यू वर्किंग ऑन द क्वेश्चंस यस ओके एक्सीलेंट मिस्टर लूना मिगेल Hello, Mr. Luna, Miguel, are you there? Or oh, you are working along, Mr. Lee? Hey, What happens with those guys? Uh, Sorry, teacher. It's raining. it's raining in my country. Very hard. In your country? I'm Yes. <laughs> that are in my city. Oh, your city. Okay. In my city. Oh, in okay. my city, in my country. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good, good. Okay, no problem. If you need my help, please let me know, all right? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. No teacher. Questions? No question. Okay, no problem. If you need my help, just let me know so I'll be back, all right? Okay, teacher, thank you. All right. Customer familiar. Hi, hi, hi. Do you have questions? No, DJ. Okay. I'll be here in case you need my assistance so you can tell me, okay? Okay, DJ. Hi. Familiar. Um, there is, uh, Uh, be because it is one of the core practice of marketing. Why? Uh, sería la, 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 the number one. Uh, este, ahí estarían este, contestadas las dos. Okay. Yes, exactly. The number one. Yes. Would you define promotional strategy? The pro the promotion the promotion strategies. Is the plan and and tactic to running a product? And lo que dice promotion strategy is the plan and tactics. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Is is a is the plan and tactic and ta tactic. 
Uh -huh. Surrounding. Surrounding. Okay. A product from a shoe. Very good. Questions, questions. And no, for the moment. It's... No, for the moment. All right. I will go to a different room. If you have questions, just let me know. All right. Okay. You? Okay. Eso, eso. Hello. Hoy. Mm -hmm. La evidencia del traductor. Mm -hmm. ¿A dónde? Del top. ¿Cómo van? ¿Questions? Number four. What does a promotion of the day help in raising awareness about the product? Mm -hmm. Number four, greatest awareness. How does a promotion strategy help in raising awareness of the product? The activity on the channel involved in a promotion is to take informing people about your product, mm -hmm. bringing into general awareness. Is that? No, it's this one. Let me let me share my screen, okay? Uh, all right. for the Daniel Baya. Se fue la energía. What? Perdón. <laughs> No, it's just like. You so? Know, the number four, the answer could be in this paragraph. Because it's, it's, it's the number four. Correct. Uh -huh. It's just like you will have a higher chance of turning the money you spend on promotions into purchase awareness of your product in hyper rounding. All right. Or the first part. So yes, you can continue sharing the screen. I don't know who was sharing the screen before. Es esencial. ¿Por qué importante? Yeah. So you have the question there. Why is promotion important? So it's really why, 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 why? The morning you spend on promotion. Sería de aquí la verdad. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué es importante? Entonces sería. Aquí. Because for more. Supporting right the people. Optimizing. Because for more in their life. Why to their right people. Optimize. Okay. Ajá. Okay. Hola. <laughs> Solo que yo no veo, teacher, para no Okay, if you want, I can stop sharing my screen. All right, I will go to a different room. If you have questions, just let me know, all right? Hello, 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 hello. David, Eduardo, Guillermo. Hello, 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 hello. 
Hello, teacher. Are you working on the questions? Yes. Okay, what question are you working on right now? Number seven. Number seven. Okay, cool. Excellent. Do you need help? No help? Okay, I will go to a different room. If you have questions, just call me, okay? Hello, Edwin, Hello, Carlos, okay. are you working on the questions? Estoy tratando de contestar las preguntas. Do you need help? Do you need some help? Por el momento voy bien. Okay. And what about Carlos? No sé, creo que está de oyente mi compañera. Hi, teacher. También Ajá. estoy contestando la pregunta. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. So you can help each other, right? So ya si hubieran este, um, like uh, divided uh, the, the, the questions. Okay. All right, I will go to a different room. If you need questions, you can let me know, all right? Okay. Hello, how are you doing? Did you finish? Now we get all right, all right, no problem. Do you need help? Do you have questions? Something that you don't understand? I don't know if my partner have a question. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Esteli, for um, answering. All right. So, in Mr. Luna, did Mr. Luna appear or not? No. What happens? Did Miguel disappeared. Just listening, says. says. All right, Sally, if you need my assistance, you can call me anytime, all right? Okay, thank you. Thank you. No, era gracioso, ya está aquí. Racing awareness. Como... Hello. Concientizar sobre el producto. Do you need my help? Do you have questions? No, teacher. No. Teacher. no. Eh, okay. Podría ser you have a ginger 
trans de autorno. Que dice que tenga más posibilidad de convertir el dinero que gasta en promoción en compra. ¿Y esto? Podría ser, ah, porque acá dice que es especial promocionar de manera correcta a las personas adecuadas, optimiza su tiempo y recursos. Con eso dice promocionar con una estrategia. Y la pregunta dice. Ay, no sé si esto estaría bien. I can help you. Okay. Eh, ¿Será que es correcto decir eh, la pregunta número, número cuatro? Number four. Before. Eh, podríamos responder eh, promotion why a uh, strategy is essential because promotion in the right way to the right people yeah. optimize your time and recourse mm -hmm. yeah. it's correct teacher. that's correct okay. Okay. Girls, I will go to a different room right now. If you need my help, call me, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Hello? Hello, Hello, teacher. How are you doing? You finished? No, teacher. Uh, just 20 questions. <laughs> Easy to understand. What question are you working on right now? ¿Cómo fue? What question are you working on right now? ¿Lo cual va? Eh, cuatro. Ah, no, ni four. What happened? Hay mm, algunas que están algo confusas. <laughs> We will see right now. Don't worry, okay? Okay. Está en la cuatro, you said, number four. Yes. Number four says, how does a promotion is really help in raising awareness of the product? Mm, sería full promotion strategy. Mm. Eh, push promotion strategy. Sales promotion strategy. No, está en la tercera imagen. La primera era que es promotion, right? La segunda es que es promotion strategy. Y en la tercera donde dice what's the purpose of a promotion strategy? Ahí dice la primera. Raising awareness. Me dice. The activities and channels involved in a promotion. Le voy a compartir pantalla para que vea. All right? Okay. Let me share screen here. Y como en el teléfono estoy, me toca estarme saliendo y buscando. Ah, I see. All right. Uh -huh. Excellent. You see the screen? Okay. Yes. Here it is, right? Mm. Inform people about your product bringing it to general awareness. ¿Qué okay, dice? Okay. Raising awareness. Right? Okay. Okay. Which is what we have in number four right here. Stop in raising awareness. Ahí está. Cuatro, cinco, seis. Están ahí. Okay. Okay, let's see here. 
let's just go back to the to the main class, all right? Okay. Hello, Carlos. What happens? I thought you were working. Me desconecté, teacher, pero me olvidé conectar. All right, thank you. So let's see here. I'm just waiting for everybody else to come back, okay? To return to this class. Here's everybody right now. Okay. Hello, everybody. Ready to answer the 20 questions? Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Ready to answer the 20 questions? <laughs> I don't right. know. <laughs> Excellent. Don't worry, people. Relax, 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 relax. All right. So, estamos today. We are in promotion. All right. So, we are here in a promotion. All right. So, just because it's a Tuesday. All right. So, we are going to be working on this one right here. All right. And there we have this one right here. That is Sanyatman, tenemos promotion, va? 50% off. Okay, let's hit this one. So this is con this one. Vaya, listen. Estos questions right here, right? Era con el purpose, a ver si me estaban poniendo atención in the class, okay? So I know they were like 20. That was just, I know that it was going not going to be possible to finish all of them. But let's just work and see in, if we can answer the first 10 at least. Veamos, number one. Esa tienen que tenerla. Someone needs to have this one. So, what is promotion and why is it important? Who can help me with the answer, people? Please. Number one. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Promotion. Yes. Is the act of getting potential customer familiar with your products is one of the products of marketing. Exactly. It's the act of getting and, um, you know, familiar. It's one of the core practices of value. So that was the answer. The answer was exactly that one. All right. So let's continue here. Let me just add it here. Text mess. Text, text, text. Oops. The questions. <laughs> All right. So let's do this one. Okay, let's see. Text in this one right here. Promotion. I like this one. It's the act of getting potential customers familiar with your product. It's one of the core practices of marketing. All right, very good. What about number two? How would you define promotion and strategy, people? The plan and tactics surrounding a product. A, a product's promotion, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. yeah, it's just like this one. The plan. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, let's see. It's just like this. The plan, in fact, is surrounding products promotion. Very good. What are the four purposes of a promotion strategy, people? What are the four purposes? 
Rising awareness. Rising awareness. Uh huh. Encouraging interest. Encouraging interest. Uh huh. What else? Encouraging yes. interest. Uh huh. Generating. Generating the demand. Demand. All right. Okay. What else? Persuading people, people to take actions. actions. To take actions. Okay, excellent. So that's it. Yeah, I guess I'm a fast people, right? So the answers were there, right? So let's see. Ahí estaban las respuestas. Ahí, 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 ahí estaban las respuestas. There, 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 you can find it, right? So you can see this one, right? Racing, everything else, like that one. Thank you. What about number four? Number four, number four? Promoting why with or with a strategy is essential because promotion in the right people optimize your time are a recourse. It actually optimizes your time. Yeah, right. So you go on this one right here, and that's it. Ahí estaba. All right. There you go. Number five. What are some ways of promoting a strategy can encourage interest in a product? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Full promotion. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Push promotion, self promotion, retail, and e commerce. And e commerce, aha, let's get on five, exactly, right? So, let's get on those cinco steps. Very good, excellent. What about number six? How does a promotion strategy generate demand for a product? That was easy. Ah, por ahí se detuvieron. All right, so good. So you go on this one right here. Making people care about and want your product. product. Ajá, exactly. Eso es lo que las personas se interesen y quieran tu producto, right? What's the ultimate goal of a promotional strategy? Ajá. Encourage people to become um, uh, 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 it was yes ese que está leyendo usted estaba en la respuesta pero la respuesta was this one all right the answer was this one persuading people to take actions this one, porque estamos hablando de la estrategia. And you were explaining me here. So why is promoting with the strategy important? Mm -hmm. All right, so. Ahí estaba en, a, en a, um, de los phrases, I mean, las phrases right there. So like this one, take a look. It is. Because promoting in the right way to the right people optimizes time and resources. Very good. Number nine, how can a promotion strategy optimize time and resources? Uh -huh. What is it? The people. Mm -hmm. Esta respuesta estaban, esta pregunta, perdón, estaba para que usted la contestara al revés. For example, le explico. All right. Aquí, ve. All right. Aquí la, en la 8 yo le pregunté, ¿por qué es importante las estrategias, eh, promocionar con estrategias? Porque las promocionan, promoting in the right way, the right people, your time and resources. Y aquí te pregunto, ¿cómo se puede optimizar esto? Promoting with the strategies. So I think it's about like the same thing here. And the last one, how does crafting promotion strategy help in handling other elements in marketing mix? Uh -huh. 
in marketing mix in marketing mix that one was easy it is just because of the knowledge the knowledge you get from morning Australia we got it okay excellent so let's see this one. It was like this one. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. And we're going to finish with this one right here. So my friends, I know that like you were surprised, right? So con esta exercise of reading comprehension, pero right, eh, que nos quede como una lección, right? So que cuando se está explicando un topic, so when you're explaining a topic, and if you have questions, please ask whenever it's not clear, so we can have this type of questions answered in a different way. Todas las questions las he sacado de la misma presentation que les he dado. Así que, yeah, you can check the information right there. But I want to say thank you for trying, right? So I know it's a difficult activity and I understand it was difficult, right? But I want to say thank you porque la mayoría estuvo working on finding the answers, okay? Así que we are going to stop right here. No more reading, no more questions, right? And I will see you tomorrow, my friends. I hope you have a wonderful night, okay? Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye.